Welcome and thank you for tuning in to episode number 23 of 10 Tesla Topics, your show for Tesla-related news, rumors, and stories. My name is Max Maurice, and today's show is for Tuesday, April 11th, 2017. Topics discussed today are the following. Tesla Easter eggs will be one tap away. Add a blue Model 3 to the spotted list. Sleek Tesla solar panels are on their way. A mysterious Model S spotted and Tesla's shares are killing it. Topic number one comes from Tesla Rati. So as mentioned several times in many previous episodes, Tesla cars are filled with a bunch of Easter eggs and little secrets. Well, according to Elon Musk, a new Easter egg basket feature will be arriving in an over-the-air software update that will basically bunch up all the previously discovered Easter eggs uh, in a single place so you can access them all at once. We found out uh, about this through Elon's Twitter, uh, where he says, Feature coming soon that allows one-touch access to all discovered Tesla Easter eggs. So as you can see here, the uh, Christmas tree ornament probably represents the Tesla Model X's holiday show Easter egg. Uh, The red planet is clearly the Easter egg that sends your car to Mars in the map uh, maps feature. Uh, The sketchpad is obviously uh, well the newest sketchpad feature. Um, But what other Easter eggs do you see Tesla implementing in their cars? Uh, What ones do you want to see? Let me know in the comments down below. Topic number two comes from Electrek. So as mentioned in only last Saturday's episode, so far we've only seen a black Model 3 out and about. Um, But actually it was spotted twice so far. Well, it looks like Tesla is expanding their test car fleet with a new blue prototype. So blue and black are the only colors seen on the release candidates so far, uh, while silver, a nice red, and matte black were the colors of the pre-alpha prototypes. So, so far, those are the only real hints at the possible color options we'll have. Um, I personally uh, love the look of the red one. Um, However, I do really hope they offer a signature red uh, and or a, a dark green like they previously had. Anyways, the black release candidate had a BMW for a chaser car, but this blue one was chased by a Model S. The first Model 3s are not expected to go to customers outside of the company until later in the summer, uh, which might upset you a little, uh, but it's, you know, to keep the feedback loop small in order to eliminate all the bugs and problems before you get yours. So yeah, you have to wait a little longer, but when you finally get your beautiful Model 3, it should be solid as a rock. Topic number three comes from Tesla Roddy. Now, when you think Tesla and solar, you're probably thinking of the very cool new uh, solar roof tiles and shingles that were released uh, a while back. Well, Musk uh, has recently stated on Twitter that the company uh, will begin taking solar roof orders sometime this month. In the meantime, Tesla is ramping up efforts to market traditional rooftop solar panels to customers who are interested in adopting solar, but don't necessarily need an entire new roof. Tesla has revealed a rooftop solar installation that's designed with a sleek and low-profile look that's barely distinguishable from the roof itself, as you can see here. So now you might be wondering, why will Tesla have two types of solar products um, for the roof along with two marketing strategies? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. So not everyone needs a new roof, and if you don't need a new roof, while well, installing traditional solar panels is going to be much cheaper than replacing uh, roof tiles entirely. For example, at my home, uh, we currently have 28 solar panels, and if we had gone for the solar shingles, it just would not have made any financial sense because we uh, just had our roof shingles redone just a couple of years ago. So it depends on your specific situation, uh, but maybe redoing your entire roof with Tesla's solar shingles uh, just makes more sense to you. Topic number four comes from Electric. So a Model S prototype with new sensors has been spotted testing in California. A source who wishes to remain anonymous spotted the prototype at a Tesla test lab in Sunnyvale, California. That location is used for prototype testing. So as of right now, it's not clear what the sensors are being used for, but it looks like it's mounted higher than the current front-facing camera uh, behind the rear-view mirror cut out on the second-generation autopilot hardware. The panel underneath the glove box is removed to unveil the uh, NVIDIA Drive PX2 computer, uh, don't ask me what that is, uh, with the new sensors connected as you can see here. 
But to me, what's the most interesting thing about this, uh, or maybe odd, I should say, is that it's a right-hand drive Tesla in California. Uh, yeah, that's pretty odd. And topic number five comes from Electric. So after a major stock price surge over the past few weeks, right after the higher than expected deliveries, Tesla is again reaching new heights after a new note from a research firm, Piper Jeffrey. Tesla stock is up 2% at a new high of $308 in pre-market trading after Piper's note set a new price target of $368 per share, uh, which is the highest price target for Tesla by any major Wall Street firm. Alex Potter, lead Tesla analyst for Piper Jeffrey, said that in the minds of its customers, employees, and shareholders, Tesla isn't just another company. He also adds that analysts need to use a more creative valuation uh, method in order to get those prices. The biggest contributor is the firm's increased confidence in Tesla delivering the Model 3 on time in 2017. Potter says that after recently traveling with uh, people from Tesla's investor relations team, he is now more convinced that Tesla will bring uh, Model 3 to market this year. They see Tesla making $11 billion in revenue this year and $19 billion uh, in 2018. All right, so those are your five Tesla topics for Tuesday, April 11th, 2017. For any questions, remarks, or even criticism, I encourage you to follow the show's Instagram and Twitter pages at 10 Tesla Topics. The links are in the description below. If you wish, you can also send me an email at 10 topics at gmail.com. That's T E N T E S L A T O P I C S at gmail.com. But be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube to never miss an episode. And feel free to comment down below if you have ever anything to say. We'll see you right here next Saturday for the next show. Thank you for listening. And of course, have yourself a model excellent day.